right, so good to be back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Satsun. In today's tutorial, we're going to do a continuation of Alexa for beginners. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at Alexa basic data types. Let's jump into our interactive Alexa and play around with these basic data types that we have in Alexa. I have my terminal open right here. So for me to run interactive Alexa, I have to run IEX right here. But of course, I'm in the command prompt. If I was in partial, then I have to put a dot BAT extension right here, but I'm not in partial. I mean command terminal so I can run this and you can see our interactive Alexa is up and running. You can tell by this prefix right here, IEX and a number. If I hit enter a couple of times, you can see this number is increasing, which is just a line number. All right. So if you missed out on the installation of Alexa, you can check out my previous video. I'll also try and leave a link in the description. All right. So let's work on these basic data types that we have in Alexa. So the first one that we're going to look at is what we call an integer. An integer is basically a whole number, including zero. So it can be a positive number or a negative number. Let's say 23, this is a whole number, right? This is an integer, 45 is an integer, 90 is an integer, negative 24 is an integer, zero is also an integer. There's a built-in function that you can use, it's called is underscore integer. In Alexa, you can use parentheses like this, but these are optional. I can check whether 23 is an integer like this. And if I run that, you can see it's true. I could also omit the parentheses by putting a space and then writing 23 right here and then hitting enter you can see i'm getting true as well so these parentheses here they are optional you could do away with them and just put a space and it's still gonna work so you can test any number here is underscore integer base 12, 3. obviously this is not an integer so it gives us a false you could also test whole numbers in other formats like the best 8 best 2 and best 16 because uh, currently I'm, I'm representing these numbers using best 10 which is the decimal this is something that we are used to right we count our numbers using best 10 but i can also represent a number using best 2 for instance if i say is underscore integer in Alexa, you can represent a base two number by using zero B. The symbol has to be either a one or a zero. So one, zero, zero. So this will be equivalent to four in base 10. So if I hit enter, you can see this is an integer. Zero B 100 is equivalent to four in base 10. You can see right here. You can also decide to use octo, which is base eight, zero O. The symbols that represent octal numbers are zero up to seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could say one, two, three, four. Let's see what number this is. You can see it's six, six, eight in base 10. You could also decide to use hexadecimal, which is zero X. In hexadecimal, the symbols are 16 symbols from zero up to F zero up to nine numbers and then a to f those alphabetical letters are used to represent base 16. so i could say zero x f right here which is 15 by the way and so you can see right here i can also use a negative to say zero x f right here and it's going to give me a minus 15. so you can use any one of these formats whether base 10 base 2 base 8 base 16 and still going to work and you can use that as a whole number you can pass this into this function right here is integer and it's going to work just like that the next data type that we're going to look at is a floating point number floating point numbers not whole numbers floating point numbers these are numbers with a decimal point right so if i say 12.3 this is a floating point number you can also check whether a number is a floating point number or not by using is underscore float like i said parentheses are optional so i can say 12.3 well you can see that's true floating point numbers can be negative or positive or is underscore float minus 13.5 you can see this is true is underscore plot 0.00, 0. 
let's try that out you can see it says it's true so these are numbers similar with whole numbers which are integers you can perform basic arithmetic operations like addition subtraction division etc you could use these built-in functions for instance the div function right here if i divide if i use the division symbol like 12 divided by 2 i'll get a 6.0 but if i want a whole number i could use this div and then pass in the 12 comma 2 the dividend and the divisor what i'm getting now is a whole number if for some reason i want a whole number back i could do this you could get help about a function let's say hdiv to get more information which is more like the manual pages the usage how i can use this function and the specification right here after these double columns right here this is the return value so it returns an integer value there are more functions that you can interact with for instance here you can see is the remainder function right here that you can interact with all right so next on the list the booleans this is another data type that you're going to be interacting with in alexa booleans is one of these two values either a true or a false so if i'm to come here uh by the way what we're doing here if i test a number is is integer right 10 this return value is a boolean so i can say h is integer right here and let's look at this you can see what it returns here it returns a boolean right. so a boolean can either be a true or a false mm, if we can use is boolean true so we have a method right here which we can use which is called is boolean is underscore boolean false is false a boolean yes false is a boolean so it's going to give me a true is underscore boolean let's try something let's say 10 here is 10 a boolean it's not a boolean it's false we could use help as well on is underscore boolean and we can see right here this is the the function and this is the specification it also returns a boolean quite interesting okay so yeah you can use that and to add on to the boolean alexa also provides the concept of neo to indicate the absence of a value so you have this data type right here neo which is the absence of a value like my name is just new i don't have a value yet for this variable if you run name right here you see it's a nil right so you you can do that in alexa it's quite common all right and then we have the concept of atoms yeah so an atom is a constant whose value is its own name in other programming languages like ruby these are called symbols this is a constant whose value is its own name so you can create atoms by preceding a value with a colon right here i could create an atom called name this is an atom apple this is an atom you can test whether the value is an atom or not by using the function is atom and so i could test where the name is an atom you can see it says it's true is underscore atom if i say name in quotation marks of course this is not an atom this is some other data type you can also check this function help is underscore atom and then run that you can see how you can use it and the specification right here it returns a boolean false is also an atom surprisingly you find some data types that are also atoms e is underscore atom false and you can see it says true if if i do this false double equal which means is it equal to this false it says it's true these two are equal all right let's look at uh, strings which is the last data type that we're going to be looking at strings in alexa are delimited by double quotes and they are encoded in utf8 if it's single quotes then those are called character lists we can say hello in double quotes you can see right here this is what we call a string and if i want to join two strings which we call concatenation i could say hello and then we use these angle brackets right here which is greater than a less than sign word right here because i put that space there deliberately and unfortunately we don't have is string so we don't have this method in alexa you can see it says compile error cannot compile code yeah, undefined function in string there's no there's no function like is string so with strings you could you could also do what we call interpolation interpolation is when you place a string inside a string let's say i got name here satsun right uh, this is a variable that i created right if i write name value satsun right here i could say in a string this 
is harsh kill brackets name right there and then quotation mark it says this is satsun he took the name and, and placed it right here which is what we call interpolation we could also use other methods like his binary on a string of course a string is a binary when you want to output or print a string we have to use a function which is within the io module called put s so this is how we go about it io dot put s which is short for put string and so i can say hello world right here if i run this you can see i get hello world and an atom okay for those who are coming from programming languages where parentheses are mandatory say hello world like this and this too going to give us the same output as this one some some preferred this and some preferred this which is the same and by the way uh this forward slash one that you're seeing right here is what we call the rt in alexa so it's the number of arguments that is required by that particular function all right so with this done i think we're done for today if you do have any questions leave them in the comment section remember to hit that subscribe button leave a like hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers